Medic Mind. Motivate, mentor, maximize. Welcome to this tutorial on problem solving, where we're going to be focusing slightly more on speed, distance, time. So, I want you to have a go at this question by pausing the video. Use the techniques used from the previous video and try and apply them here. So, the answer you should have gotten is B, 1756. So, the question is asking, what time will I get to Manchester if I get to Luton Station at 15.44? So we need to know how to get to Manchester from Luton. So there are actually four ways to get to Manchester from Luton, which I'm going to go over now. Option one is going from Luton to Euston to Manchester. Option two is going from London to Euston to then Leicester to then going to Manchester. Option three is going from Luton to Leicester, then going to Euston, then going to Manchester. And option four is going from Luton to Leicester to Manchester. So looking at option three, it's clearly not feasible as it takes far longer than the other trains, even if they do involve a waiting time of up to an hour. So we can rule out option three. She will leave Euston at 15.44 and get to Euston at 16.35. Okay. Now this is because if she gets there at 15.44, she can only get a train to Euston at 16.00. Okay. And if she gets to Euston, she will get there at 16.35 as we said, and she has to wait another 55 minutes for a train at 17.30. So there, from 17.30, she has two options from Euston. Option one, going directly to Manchester, and option two, going via Leicester. With the first option, okay, so going directly to Manchester, she would get to Manchester at 16.07 because all trains depart from Euston half past the hour and she'd have to get the train at 5.30 and 37 minutes will mean that she gets there at 18.07. If she then went via Leicester, she would get to Leicester at 17.47 since it takes 17 minutes to get to Leicester and she get the train at 17.30. Then, each train departs at 50 parts every regional train, so she will get the train at 17.50, and it will take her 6 minutes to get to Manchester at 17.56. So, so far, option 2 seems the best bet. There is one other option that we have mentioned before. So that was going from Luton to Leicester to Manchester. If she goes to Leicester, she will get the train at 15.50, and she will get to Leicester at 17.53. Unfortunately, this means she will miss the 17.50 train straight to Manchester. Okay, so that's not really an option. So her best option is option two. And by using option two, she gets there with 17.56, which is B. Okay. Have a go at this question now. Okay. So, the answer you should have gotten for this question is D. Okay, 82 minutes. So, a journey visiting all the stops must have a reoccurrence at Euston. So, Euston will end up appearing twice in the journey. The shortest journey is obviously preferable, involving Euston twice. So, you may as well use Euston to Liverpool twice. Okay? The route of Luton to Leicester has to be avoided because this exceeds the highest option, 84 minutes, given in the option for the question. So a good option, really, would be to do this. Manchester to Leicester to Euston to Liverpool, back to Euston and to Luton. That will take 6 minutes, 17 minutes, 12 minutes to go from Euston to Liverpool, 12 minutes to go from Liverpool to Euston and 35 minutes to go from Euston to Luton. Now we're told to ignore waiting times and it's asking us how much time will be spent together. So that gives us 82 minutes, therefore the answer is D, 82 minutes, okay? Have a go at this part now by pausing the video. Okay, so the answer you should have gotten here is E, 87 minutes. So let's run through this step by step. So there are two routes 
from Manchester to Liverpool, Manchester to Euston to Liverpool, and Manchester to Leicester to Euston to Liverpool. We're told to use a route that goes via Euston only, so we really ignore the second route I just mentioned. So let's go by the one that's from Manchester to Euston to Liverpool. So we're going to leave at 14.57 and get the train to Euston at 15.00. We will get to Euston at 15.37. We will then have to wait until half past the hour to get the train to Liverpool. That will be at 16.30. And we will therefore get to Liverpool at 16.42. The new supposed train from Manchester would depart at 15.15. It would therefore have to be 87 minutes long to be the same time as the route mentioned. The time is therefore E. 87 minutes. Have a go at this part now by pausing the video. Okay, so the answer you should have gotten is D. So let's go through this step by step. So there are actually two ways to get there, okay? So we have option one, which is directly to Euston, so Leicester to Euston. We also have option two, which is from Leicester to Manchester to Euston, and option three, which is Leicester to Luton to Euston. So let's look closely at option one now. So Leicester to Euston. That train will depart to Leicester at 16.00, so we will get to Leicester at 16.17. It therefore takes 61 minutes. Okay, This therefore contradicts the first statement, and we know for a fact that that statement's wrong. Now we need to see if the second statement's wrong, because, well really, that's the most direct route, so we know it's going to be the most time efficient. Option 2 is from Leicester to Manchester to Euston. That train will depart at 15.50, and will get to Manchester at 15.56. It will then depart from Manchester to Euston at 16.00, since we're told each train to Euston departs on the hour. It will therefore get there at 16.37. Okay, so again, proving statement 1 wrong, but doesn't prove statement 2 wrong necessarily. But there is also the third option, from Leicester to Luton to Euston. So although this is not preferable, it's still, you know, one option, because it's saying journeys from Leicester to Euston never get there at, after 1716. Well, this train will start at 1550 and will reach Luton at 1813, because it takes 123 minutes. It will then leave Luton at 1900 and reach Euston at 19.35. This is far later than the 17.16 time provided by option 2. Therefore, the correct answer has to be D. Okay, looking at the three options here, they don't fit any of these statements, so it has to be D. Okay? Have a go at this question now by pausing the video. Okay, so the answer you should have gotten here is C. So originally, Khaled would have got to the studio at 10.05. This is because he would have gotten the 9.30 train in, and it takes 35 minutes to get there. Now, he'll have to wait for the domestic trains, which depart at 9.50. He will then go from Luton to Leicester and arrive at 11.53, since it takes 123 minutes. He will then have to wait until 12 to get the train from Leicester to Euston. He will then get to Euston at 12.17. This is 2 hours and 12 minutes longer. Therefore, the correct answer is C. 2 hours and 12 minutes. So I hope that makes sense. And now in the next video, we're going to be looking at slightly more difficult examples as well. Thank you for watching this free BMAT tutorial from Medic Mind. To unlock the rest of the 100 tutorials and all 8 ebooks, click here now.